Thank you for joining us for an overview of the Holocaust Project on Wikitree for Wikitree Day 2023. We are an association united by the shared goal of documenting those who suffered the unspeakable tragedy of the Holocaust. Some of us are driven by family ties with the victims. Others of us are driven by the moral imperative, the need to document one of the most barbaric acts of mass murder in the modern age. We do this both to honor the memory of those who suffered and also hopefully to raise awareness for future generations. We are unique in some ways because we seek to document 11 million victims of the Holocaust. This definition is more expansive than some because it includes 5 million non-Jewish deaths in addition to the approximate 6 million Jewish deaths. So how can you help us? On our project page, if you scroll down, there's a box lined in green with a link that says answer our G2G welcome post. Once you click on that link, that will take you to our G2G post. Our only requirement is that you have signed the honor code. As you scroll down the G2G post, you'll notice a green button that says answer this post. Make sure to click on the answer and let us know that you would like to join. From there, we will get your membership process. You will get a project badge for the Holocaust, and you can also sign up for our communication on G2G. Add the Holocaust to your follow tags on your personal profile to keep up with the project news. So what is the mission? of our project. The Holocaust Project's mission is to reinforce the remembrance of the victims of the Holocaust. Our goal is to add the victims and the survivors' profiles into Wikitree by 2045. How can you help us do that? We do have some goals that we've set out for ourselves. So create profiles for all Holocaust victims the process is to use the spreadsheet divided by camps and other locations of death. Create profiles for all Holocaust survivors. Identify all WikiTree profiles of people who were and are Holocaust victims, survivors, or whose fate was unknown at the end of World War II. Add the Holocaust template or sticker to their profiles and add the appropriate subcategories. Conduct research and provide source and meaningful biographies for them. How are people of the project working in adding the profiles? Some members work from their own family as a starting point, and others are working from specific data sets. To give you an example, one member is working through the Dutch Eudes Monument. This particular profile of Moses is one that came from the monument. As you can see, the birth and the death and the family are all documented. Appropriate categories have been added, as well as the appropriate stickers. Now, this is an interesting biography because this is a comes from a Dutch monument. It's in two languages. And then as I scroll down, you'll notice the sources. The very last one mentions the monument where he can be found. Once clicking on that link, it'll bring you to a specific page that details the information of Moses from that monument. Now others are working from transport list. And I give you an example of a transport list is basically a convoy 37 space page. As I scroll down, you'll notice that the categories are in place. This page is a landing page to get you to those particular transport lists. You also notice that there's a particular site listed. Now this, this site is World Remembrance. 
of the Holocaust, but it also provides details and sources for us to find the information that we need. It's the Holocaust History Museum. It has educational tools, continuing research, virtual expositions, but it also provides a way to find the victims. And they can be found by queries. They can be researched. They can be listed by name based on the convoys. For Jewish victims, this has search functions, including listing the victims by names of the concentration camps that they were in. For another search engine, the Arison Archives includes more non-Jewish victims. And as you can see, this is a way that you can go and search for the victims names and add them with the source into Wikitree. They have the 30 million original documents online. Another great source comes from the Poland project. And this is a tremendous source to find individual victim information on Wikitree the documents that can be used to dig into each case. Similarly, you can also go to local regional Holocaust societies have excellent resources that sometimes cannot be located anywhere else. And by categorizing each profile, we can ensure that team members use the best resources that are available to us. As with all these databases for the victims, we can use the information provided by the submitter to help guide the initial search. So often we hope submitters are family or friends of family members who have some basic information that can be used as a jumping off point to research the victim. Basic information includes names, dates, places of birth, near ancestor names are all extremely valuable to getting a strong start cataloging an individual and assuming that they are not a duplicate entry. Let me show you another sample profile. And this happens to be one of the notables of our project, Marion Van Binsberger Pritchard. And as you can see, she's pretty well documented with her categories as well as her sticker. This sticker is a little different than the one that we saw in the previous example. And we're gonna go over stickers in just a minute, but as you can see, rescued many Jew Jewish children during the Holocaust. As we scroll down, we see that she has a lovely biography that documents herself, her birth, her marriage. Her immigration to the United States as well as her death. This particular profile has a very interesting source. If you notice the very first one listed is an oral history interview. Once you click on that link, you can go and listen to Marion's history, her story in her own voice as she tells you what she's experienced during her life. Now we mentioned categories and one of the ways that we work our profiles that are existing on Wikitree is through our project maintenance categories. These categories are very similar to what every project might have. For example, you have your unsourced, you needs more records, which means it might have one source, but we would like more sources to document the entire profile and the life of the person. And needs profiles created means that we need to add more family members to the existing profile. One of the other categories that we have listed here that is different for us than most projects is the possible survivor category. Now for this one, sometimes we're unsure of the fate of a Jewish member through the Holocaust. So adding this category, this page contains the profiles of people who were born in a region that was under German control during World War II and immigrated at an unknown time or did not die before 1935. 
If they immigrated to a safe country between 1935 and 1945 and or died after 1935, then they belong in the Holocaust Project. And just to scroll down to let you see a few of the profiles that we've included. Now, I also mentioned that we have stickers as well for this project, and our stickers are very unique. Depending on the person in the profiled individual, you might use a different sticker on their profile than just our sample Holocaust sticker. This is going to be our basic sticker. If you're not sure of the person's life, but you want to include them in the Holocaust project, then you would use our basic Holocaust sticker. The stickers always go below the biography line. As we scroll down, we see that we do have a couple different options. This particular sticker has free text that you could put in the sticker itself that they went in hiding during the Holocaust, or perhaps they helped persecuted persons during the Holocaust. Here's one that survived persecution during the Holocaust, or perhaps they fled to the U.S. Then perhaps they, they died as a result of the persecution or they famished. So we do have different stickers that you can use to identify in the fate of the Holocaust victim or the Holocaust survivor. I want to thank you for joining us for a quick tour of the Holocaust Project. We have a big task in front of us to add the 11 million into WikiTree by 2045. But with your help, we can do this. Thank you and enjoy the rest of WikiTree Day.